We have some really creative ideas for your desserts at your holiday party or maybe when the family comes over for Christmas dinner. Janine Washley is here from Cloverfields Farm and Kitchen to show how you can make the cake the centerpiece of the celebration and she's telling us about some different ideas for cakes and desserts for the holidays. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Well you know I love to save money, I like to be thrifty, mm -hmm. I like to um, make more out of less so to speak right. and all of these cakes represent that. So I love using cake as a centerpiece because I'm not having to buy a floral arrangement. I'm not having to um, make something, you know, at the last minute. Right. We can eat it, wash the plate, put it up, and be done with it. And sometimes it's as simple as making a beautiful cake and adding mm -hmm. something like a sprig of rosemary or uh -huh. some other greenery That's right. around it, and then you're done. And then you're done. Okay, now tell me about these skewers in the cake because oh, you're I, not going to put it on the table like this. Oh, no. I wanted to leave those in place. If I'm traveling, I have no worries whenever I take a big cake like this. This is a nice big 10 inch cake because I use bamboo skewers and um, this particular icing is a cream cheese icing so it actually is a little bit more bonding than a buttercream icing. So I only have one but I feel very safe and in fact this little fondant cake you see how tall it is. I had a skewer right down the middle of it when I drove up today. This one is a buttercream so I've put four skewers and it's not going anywhere. I mean and it was out overnight so as you can see that cake is not going anywhere. But if I hadn't had that in there, and I, I live in the country, it's right. very curvy roads. Well, I've been out there, it, yeah. <laughs> it, it would have slid all over the place and it would have been a disaster. So that is my tip. Just inexpensive bamboo skewers. Break and them, it will, stick them down in there and yep, it'll keep break them from them in sliding. Half and it will keep them from sliding. Um, people may not have realized when you talked about this candle <laughs> that this is a cake. This is not a candle. No. So this is a centerpiece and in a little while you'll show us how to put one of these together. I'm going to show you how to make an easy version of this if you're nervous about working with fondant. Okay. And I make my own fondant. And Saturday the girls in the uh, gingerbread class, they all wanted to taste it because they had heard the bad, you know, it press that. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't taste like much. And they all decided my fondant tastes like Fruity Pebbles, so I oh, think that's okay. an endorsement. All right. But um, this is a rum cake, very classic. I always dilute the rum with sugar syrup so that it's a more mellow taste. I just okay. don't think um, that my grandmother would appreciate getting a mouthful of pure rum. Pure rum. So okay. I do try to take care of that. Now this is really pretty. Yes. And it's it, these are oranges, but can I flip one over sure. to show? Okay. Oh yeah. So you see these candied oranges and there's cake in the center and you say you can eat the whole thing yes even though this is orange peel yes okay now Be orange peel doesn't sound all that appetizing so what do you do to it to take out the bitterness I juice the orange and then um, I put on um, a pot of water just to cover all of my oranges and I simmer it for 20 minutes dump off the water do it again and then all of this pith, this, this white is where the bitter is, mm -hmm. that comes out. It also mellows out the orange oil that's inside the peel. Okay. Then I make a sugar syrup, um, bring them up to simmer again, leave it overnight, and you have these beautiful edible cups. And this is what it's going to look like. It's very uh -huh. sticky, but this is what it looks like. Yes. Okay, so now you move on to make this into a cake, and how do you do that? Um, sometimes there's a little hole in the bottom. I just wanted to point that out where the uh, stem end was, and I just put an almond or a pecan in there, and then pour in my cake batter, and that's it. It just does just it yellow itself. yellow cake? Um, this or whatever is, this flavor This is a pound like. cake, but you could use any okay. cake flavor that you want. And then you can eat the whole thing. And if you, um, if uh, uh, that's not something that you would want to do, you know, then you can dispose of it. But um, it is very tasty. And Just it does a make mellow a pretty orange. centerpiece. Oh, now, yeah. in a little while, Janine's not only going to show us how to make the candle cake, but she's also going to show us how to make a pine cone yes. out of a jelly roll. So this is how it started and this is how it ended up. Yes, and I'm going to show you an easy version with frosting okay. um, in case you're intimidated by chocolate fondant. But that was, this pine cone was a jelly roll. And I also wanted to point out something else. Nuts this year are very expensive. These are walnuts. And you might have at first thought that these were walnuts as well or some type of nut. I call these cake nuts. Um, there's a Jewish uh, uh, a crouton called a soup nut and it's very crunchy and delicious and you put it on top of your soup and I started thinking I bet I could make a cake nut so you know how you level off the cake and you have that little bit that either the baker or your children eat you mm -hmm. know sometimes we right, toss it. Right, when you level it so that you can put the ice yes, in it. Yes, I took uh -huh. that and I crumbled it up on a sheet pan put it into a low oven I think it was 225 degrees left it for two hours and look how hard it is just like a nut and then I just crumbled it some so more. So these aren't nuts at all? I really didn't no, think these were walnuts no, these, on this hummingbird this, cake. This is the top of the it's the top of the you hummingbird the cakes. Difference. No, and it has the pineapple in it. It has, has the it pecans. Flavor? I just could not bring myself with as expensive as nuts are to throw these away. So this is just that top of the cake that we level off, 
dried out in the oven, crumbled up, and then and I put I, on, there, put on the side of the cake. Well, that's really clever. If you didn't, you know, buy the nuts when they were less expensive and freeze <laughs> them, this is another way to do it. That's right. Now, you always share your recipes with us, so you have a booklet for oh, this. Yes. Okay, so Janine has a booklet that'll share some of the recipes for the coconut cream. Oh, yes. The coconut cream, hummingbird cake, which if you've never tried it, oh. I give it my endorsement. It was my dad's favorite cake. My mother used to make it all the time. As a kid, I didn't like it. As an uh -huh. adult, I think it's fantastic. But she'll share these recipes, and then in a few minutes, she's going to show us how to make a cake into a candle and how to make a jelly roll into a pine cone. And if you want Janine's information, you can find it on our website, wdrb.com. Just go to the WDRB in the morning section, look for food and recipes, and we'll have it right there.